I get a lot of questions from people about the poker hand type of question. Uh, for example, what's the probability of having a poker hand that has two queens and three kings? And there are lots of different ways to do this. However, you really don't want to do the type of problem where you say, okay, uh, I'm going to calculate the probability of getting a queen and a queen and then a king and a king and a king because that's building an order in. And so, yeah, it could be a queen and a queen and a king and a king and a king, but it could also be a queen, three kings and a queen at the end. Uh, you know, you could have them spread out. Lots of different orderings, and you'd have to find all those individual probabilities and add those up. You don't want to think about it that way. It's going to take too long. It's going to be too complicated. However, a relatively easy way to do this is to think of it in terms of putting your hand in and pulling those cards out all at the same time. And really what you want to figure out is, how many ways can I pull two queens out of the deck? How many ways can I pull three king cards out of a deck? And then finally, probability is always number of successes out of total number of possibilities. You want to think, well, how many ways can I pull five cards out of the entire deck? Because that's what you're really doing. Uh, so again, we're really just doing successes out of total possibilities. Well, my successes involve two things. I have to figure out how many ways I can pull out two queens. Okay? Well, this is actually pretty simple because a deck of cards only has four queens. I just want to figure out how many different ways I can pull out two of those. Well, that's just the combination of four taken two at a time. Okay, and in this case, that is going to end up being six. Okay? And, always want to break these things up into parts, and suggest that I have this second category. So if I can figure out how many ways I can pull two queens and three kings, I can just multiply those two individual totals together, and that'll tell me how many ways I can do both, the first and the second, because those can be viewed as two separate categories. Uh, so four taken two at a time, the kings. There are three kings that I need to draw. There are four kings in a deck. So it's just four taken three at a time. Uh, remember it's an and here, so I'm going to multiply by the four kings taken three at a time. Okay? That's the numerator. Uh, this is going to work out to be six. This is going to work out to be four. Okay? There's six ways I can do one. There are four ways I can do the other. Twenty-four different ways that I can pull out a group that involves two queens and three kings. Now, for the denominator. I want to look at the total possibilities. So how many cards am I pulling out total? How many cards do I have total? There are 52 cards in the deck. I want to remove five of those cards. And so you can multiply this out, not one I can do in my head, uh, but you can multiply this out and you can make that calculation. And that's going to tell you the probability that you have a, a, a hand of cards that has two queens and three kings because you've counted how many ways you can pull two queens out of the group of four and how many ways you can pull three kings out of the group of four and you've calculated your total number of possibilities. How many ways can I draw five cards out of a group of 52 cards? And that's all you have to do for these problems that involve these multiple groupings of cards like this. It's really just a use of combinations.